All right. We are going to talk about goals, guys. This is always my absolute most favorite training. It was my favorite subject um, or or issue or life skill to teach when I was a teacher. Um, I think you can teach goals to anybody. We set goals every new year, like it's part of our New Year's resolution. It's kind of our, it's part of our New Year's tradition. Uh, not everybody is excited about it as I am, but they're all ready. I've, I've prepped them, right? Like, hey guys, don't forget, we set goals and you know for the new year, um, and we try to group our goals too. So um, we have goals for like fa a family goal, we have a financial goal, um, we have a work or school goal, we have a health and wellness goal. So we try to break them down into the different. Um, life wheel sections. <clears throat> Guys, if you don't know what a life wheel is, I highly, highly recommend checking it out. Like, let's just start by saying that for a lot of people, 2020 uh, was kind of butt, right? Um, I watched a horrible TikTok video the other day. Yes, I'm sucked into TikTok. And this girl was drinking and crying as she was reading off her list of goals that she wrote from 19 into 20. And it was things like, you know, travel more, spend more time with friends, um, lose weight, stop drinking. And she just like laughed her way very, very tearfully through everything and just blaming COVID for, for so much. And, and, you know, and that that's it, right? Like, I feel like I am going into 2021 with a F2020. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I didn't say it. I just implied it. Um, but just something that it, you know, I hope you stick it out with me this evening, guys. You catch the replay. Whether this is um, pink zebra related or weight loss related or um, or saving for a down payment of a house, whatever it might be, it is just so important to create goals, <clears throat> you know, out with the old and with the new, whether, like I said, making that money or promoting within the company um, or promoting in your full-time position or leaving your full-time position. It, it doesn't matter. Um, okay. So, you know, we all love it, right? We all love making our new year's resolutions and then we kind of fall off, right? And we fall off. So we're, before we start falling off, let's talk about how to make our goals smarter. So S guys stands for specific. <clears throat> we want to make sure that you're choosing specific goals. You want to be detailed, um, see what you want in your mind. I know some of us think we're, it's weird. Um, I am very, very big on visual visualization. That's what you're going to see us talking about a vision board. Um, and you can kind of do what you want with that. Right. But just having those goals written down and having them be specific. Um, and I do want to show you guys in a couple minutes, some like a kind of little fun way to, to track what you're doing. So making them, um, exactly what you want. A broad goal is going to leave you room to kind of put it on the back burner. So you, um, it's almost like you're adjusting to fit your current need instead of striving for something bigger. And guys, goals are supposed to be something you have to reach for, right? It's not something that's just going to come easily. Uh, so we want to make sure that they are specific. The M stands for measurable. Um, how are you going to measure if you've reached that goal? How are you going to know? Um, do you want to save for a new car? Okay, well, how much are you saving? So if your goal is being specific, it would be, I want to save $400 a month for a new car by, okay, we're going to get into that part in a second here. <laughs> um, this is a uh, this is the step that is going to take a little bit of time. You might have to do a little bit of research on being measurable. So um, you, if you're looking at weight loss, right, you want to say, I want to lose 35 pounds by June 1st, right? And again, these are just the goals. We are going to talk about how they don't just rain from the sky, right? You actually have to create a plan. And that's where so many people miss out on that step. So our A stands for attainable. So we want to be real, guys. Is your goal actually achievable and you know, the example that I like to use is if you are a 27-year-old attorney who wants to run in the next presidential election, that's not going to happen. It's completely unattainable because you have to be 35 years old to run for president of the United States. Okay. So in our business, it would kind of be crazy if you joined last week and said that 
um, you were going to hit presidential director by December of 2021. That's kind of crazy, right? Like we're going to still cheer you on, um, but maybe we need to make that a little bit more attainable. Our R stands, our first R stands for relevant. And guys, these used to be smart goals, but I found a really great ER at the end. Um, relevant, does your goal make sense for your big picture? Is it result-based? Um, is your goal something that you have control over? So like, just think about that for a second. Is it something that you have control over? Our T stands for time bound. And this is really, really important, guys. You need some sort of time frame. Um, you know, all these steps are tied together, right? If you don't have a time frame, it's really easy to forget or to make an excuse. So, and it, there's very li little accountability when there is no time frame. So if you're looking at a promotion, <laughs> whether it's through Pink Zebra, whether it's through your full-time job, okay, when are you gunning for that promotion? Um, a lot of people don't want, don't like this step, right? Because it's, it's, it's possible to fail. All right. So when we talk about promotions, my plan A was to promote to director the um, October before I promoted to directors. Okay. So I promoted in November. Um, I, my, my plan A was October, but then that didn't work. So my plan B was November. And then my plan C was actually the spring and that didn't work out. I never changed my goal, right? I just had to change the time frame a little bit and obviously the action plans that I was getting to. But I shared, I shared because I needed people to help me stay accountable. We talk about accountability all the time, guys. So I really want you to think about what it is you want, right? And we talk to all the time. Maybe Pink Zebra is not your end all be all, right? We Maybe you don't love it as much as some other people love it, right? You love the product, you think it's great, but you're just like, you know, whatever. Make Pink Zebra your vehicle to get towards the goal that you want, right? So if you want to pay off your student loans or you want to pay 10 grand down by December 31st of 2021, then Pink Zebra can be that vehicle to make that goal happen. So our goals don't always have to be centered around this business, but sometimes this business is the vehicle to get you where you want to be, um, saving for vacations, a down payment on a house, uh, paying off a car, paying off student loans, paying for a wedding, paying off a wedding, right? These are all things that um, Pink Zebra is that vehicle getting you to, to get to those goals. So kind of like an action plan step. So time bound, you got to figure out what is your time frame, okay? Um, <clears throat> uh, okay, you're looking to add new team members, customers, your business, all that time frame. Letter E, our... Yeah, sorry, we got to smart. <laughs> Letter E is evaluate. So this step happens a little bit later. So remember in July, actually we, we did it in June and starting July 1st, we created these goals, right? Some of you had pink sapphire, some of you had $1,000 a month or $400 a month or $1,250 a month or promoting or maintaining whatever it was your goal, right? Now's the time for your E. Now's the time for you to stop and evaluate. And I am very big on goals. I write my pink zebra goals in January, I'm sorry, in July, well, June for the new coming fiscal year, July 1st to January 30th. And then for the new year, I stop and reevaluate my pink zebra goals. And I have to, again, not changing my goals, but changing my action plan to get to where my goal, you know, where I want to be with my goals. <coughs> January is also when I write my personal goals. And then July, when I'm working on my Pink Zebra, I do my reevaluation for my personal goals. But I don't do it just once, guys. And I think that's like the most important step. I know we all have planners, right? Whether you're using your phone, whether you are stuck with me, right? I love my paper planner. Whatever it is, just making sure that you are putting this step right? For your goals, putting it in your planner, whether you're checking in with your goals every month, every quarter, uh, every week, 
every day, um, whatever it might be. I know I saw Jenny had made a comment how every morning she writes down her goals. And that is so important. And there have been studies. I don't have all of them. You could totally Google that. There are studies that show writing down those goals, right? You're putting it out there. You're putting it into the universe, whatever you might you know, believe. Um, but you're putting it out there. You're saying it. You're putting it into existence. Um, it is super important to write those down, no matter how you're doing it. And keeping it somewhere where you can see. And we've talked about vision boards, guys. And again, such so important to see those things. I will swear up and down by vision boards. Even, even like online Pinterest vision boards, whatever it is. In devoting a little bit of time, whether it's you know monthly or like I said, quarterly, to check that vision board and, and add to it or add to those Pinterest pages. And I, you know, I talk about Pinterest, but... You know, we were able to tra travel the country. We sold our house. We bought an RV. We traveled the country because of what our Pink Zebra business had done for us. And it took a year of me just pinning the crap out of stuff. Like, do you know that the undercarriage of your RV is called your basement? Yes. I had a whole page devoted to the basement of the RV, the kitchen of the RV, the bedrooms of the RV, storing sh storage of the RV, right? I get, and I would just go on there and pin and pin and pin. And, you know, people would be like, I don't understand. You even own an RV. And I'm like, oh, no, but I'm going to. And this is what it's going to be like in there. So had a goal, had a time frame, but just kept really putting it out there with, you know, seeing that vision. Okay. So again, sorry, got sidetracked. Can you expect anything less? Uh, we want to evaluate on this step, guys. Uh, step back, evaluate the situation, evaluate where you are, are, where you are in your timeline. How much time do you have left? How can we break things down uh, into, you know, monthly or weekly or daily tasks to help you get to that goal? And then review. That's where we are on that one. We've evaluated and now we need to review our plan of action. Because honestly, guys, making a list of things that you want, that's great. Put that out there. But you can't have a goal without a plan. So it is so important to create a plan of action. Um, and you never want to change your goals, right? You want to change your plan. So if you are pulling out your July 1st goals right now and you're looking and you're like, damn, I'm far, right? Like, I, I don't know, like this isn't where, maybe, you're, maybe your goal was to earn a trip, or earn the trip for one. And you're just like, I don't know how I can do this. Okay, we're not changing the goal. We're not saying that we're not gonna do it. We need to reevaluate our plan and figure out what do we have to do from now until then to make that happen. So if, if we're looking at our Jan June 30th, you know, deadline of our goals, what do you have to do to get back to being on track for Pink Sapphire? Or what do you have to do to average that $400 a month, right? Uh, what do you have to do to average that $1,000 a month? You need to pick it up somewhere else. Okay, what is your action plan? How can you go about doing that? <clears throat> Same thing, guys. You're trying to pay off your student debt and you wanted to have $10,000 in the banks you know, before then. Um, what? Where are you? How much money you should be? five grand in if that was your goal from July 1st, um, if you're trying to save 10 because we're halfway through the year. So what do you need to do? If you're not, where do you kick it up a notch? How do you put some extra money in there? Or <clears throat> are you ahead of the game? Are you going to continue that pattern? So just making sure um, that you are uh, making your goals smarter when you are doing this. So most super, most super important <laughs> is to write them down. Okay, write them down. That's right. Like it feels awesome to cross things off of a list or like put a huge star next to something. And plus writing your goals on paper makes them tangible. You're putting it out in the universe. Yes, I keep saying that. Yes, I've read the secret. Um, I am a, again, a firm believer of putting the positive out there. You wanna make sure you're creating that action plan for each goal that you are writing. Um, what are the steps that you're going to take to reach those goals? Guys, this isn't like a, oh, Jessica, Lindsay and Danielle wanted me to write goals. Let me just, rah, 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 done. Like, this is something we want you guys to think about. Again, not just even on a pink zebra front, um, but just on a great life skill type front too. So what's the plan? 
Write it down too. Yeah. So like if your goal is to um, have $10,000 in your savings by June 2021, what are you going to do? What's your plan? Don't just write, I'm going to save $200 a month or, you know, or $200 a week. How are you going to save that? Where are you getting an extra $200 a week that you didn't have before to put in that savings, right? So again, making that um, action plan. And, oh, you know, I love it, right? You can actually, we have an album on our team page of vision boards. I think it's a sad album, guys. It's sad. If you want to make it happy, put your vision boards up there. Here's what it's going to do. You know, I, and I don't know if people are nervous, like, are, are, is it, are you not writing them because you are afraid to do it? Wow, there's guys, and we're talking vision boards. We want you to be as specific as possible. If you want a brand new 2021 Jeep Cherokee, I'm making things up right now, um, and it's going to be green, then on your vision board, you better have a green Jeep Cherokee. And, um, don't be afraid to figure out what the payments are going to be for you and things like that. Like that's part of your plan, right? Sharing your goals. That's where I was going. Damn it. Okay. Oh, sorry. So sometimes, not sometimes, I'm calling, I'm calling you out on the carpet right now, guys. Okay. Um, frequently, Danielle makes posts about goals. Okay. Frequently, Sundays we post like what are your what are your plans like what are your what are projects are you working on um it's not so that we sleep better okay I'll apologize up front if I'm coming off a little bit of a b I don't mean to do that but when we do these things on the team page one it's because we're doing them in real life as well and they have been crazy successful for us so we want to make sure that we're passing along that information to you guys. And and when people aren't commenting, it's like a handful of things happening. Are people not commenting because they didn't write goals? Are people not commenting because they're afraid to share their goals in case they don't hit it? Are people not commenting because they don't have goals, right? Like, And, and we're not saying that you don't have goals and plans, but like, have you just went like, oh, well, I really don't know what I want, right? Like, been there, done that. I went a whole six months with this company going, okay, well, it was when I came back from traveling and I'm like, well, I did it. That was my goal. So I guess I'll just sell some sprinkles. <laughs> you know what I mean? So make sure that you know what you're working towards, guys. Share them share them with us. Yes. At some point there's going to be a post and we're going to want you to share your goals on there. It's not so we can call you up and go, Hey, Lindsay, um, you know, you said that you were going to do $4,000 in sales this month and you only did 25. So what's that about? Like, that's not what happens on this team page in case you guys didn't know that. Um, it's for things like, um, my goal was to sell $1,000 this month and I'm sitting at $900. You can bet your butt that someone's going to reach out and be like, oh my God, you're only $100 away. You totally got this, right? Or you get on there and you're just like, I don't know. I wrote this goal, but I don't, oh God, my action plan isn't good. Guess what? There's another zebra on this page that probably have the same problem you did and found a solution. So when you're saying I didn't hit this goal and someone says, well, what did you do to try to do it? They're not being a jerk. They want to know so that they can try to help you find a new action plan so that you can hit those goals. So guys, um, long story short, figure out what your goals are, right? Do you want to make money? Are you going with the life wheel? Are you doing a little bit? Are you doing like three maybe in each section for the year? I don't know. Figure it out what you want to do. Write your goals down. Make sure that they are smarter, right? Specific, measurable, achievable, um, relevant, time bound, uh, evaluated, and re review. <laughs> uh, sometimes you, people use that as reward too. So that's always something that you can do. Uh, make that action plan, guys. Stick with it.
right? That's what we're for. We're here to help you stay accountable. Um, vision boards, woot woot, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy, okay? So if you're putting it out there and you're talking as if you have done it already, right? It's just like saying like, I suck at recruiting. I'm so bad. I'm so bad at recruiting. I'm so bad at recruiting. Guess what? You're never going to get better at recruiting because you're just telling yourself that you suck all the time. Okay. So if you're telling yourself, oh my God, I'm getting 24, changing 24 lives this year. It's going to be great. Okay. Then our, our positive, the energy out there is going to help make that happen. <laughs> all right. Um, I wanted to show you, I actually found this from another Zeeb. All right, let me take this down. So this is kind of like my, this is like my big, my big five, right? These are like lifetime things that I want to accomplish. And I have this hanging up in my office so that I can see it all the time. Like it's there all the time. And then I have my pink zebra. <laughs> zebra. Ignore the bye-bye bingo arms workout at the bottom. <laughs> but I have this list and this is kind of, this is my year to date pink zebra list, guys, that I keep up so that I can see it all the time. And I found this fun little way um, from another zeb. And what you do is you write your goals on um, someone. Yeah, these are called clothespins. Yes. Okay. So I can go to comments now. All right. So, um, yes, yeah, so we are not going to hunt you down. We are here to help. So what you do is you write your goals on here. So one of my goals is to have seven people paid as EC on my front line. Um, so everyone that gets to executive consultant on my front line, I take one and wah, 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 but put it in the, oh, actually I can put that in there. Um, I also have qualifying recruits. So that's a lie. I got to put that one back because I have that on here several times. Um, but it's the fun thing, right guys, that you can take that and go, oh my gosh, Iron Pink Sapphire, boom, it's in there. So hopefully, again, it's a visual. So you're seeing this, uh, hopefully sitting on your desk, right? And you see your, or it's on your phone. Um, and it's fun for your kids and your family to do too. So even if it's not Pink Zebra related, this is a cute idea, um, for your kiddos as well. So that's it, guys. Did I do it? Yeah, I kept it under 30. Look, bingo arms are going away. Look at that. Sorry, I had to just show you guys. I've been working out. <laughs> um, all right, so just to kind of recap, guys, write your goals. Reevaluate your goals if you've already written them. Um, remember, don't change the goal. Change the plan. If you need help with a plan, we can help that. Um, Again, some good goals may be attending a training once a month or uh, once a week or, you know, committing to 15 minutes a day for your business. Um, you, there's just so many things. So if you're stuck, we want we want to help you. But the biggest thing is to sort of come back to your why. Why are you working this business? Why are you a Pink Zebra consultant? Is it for the free discount or the you know, the 25% discount, high five, man, that's awesome. But think about the fact that you can get 25% off, but maybe you get 40 people that want to do a subscription service. Are you going to say no to that extra $100 or so? Just a thought. So think about what it is you want, guys, um, and get it out there for everybody to see. Hey, guys. Um, that's it. Uh, get the goals done, guys. Just do it. Do it for yourself. Do it for your team. Do it for your family. Uh, but get those goals written down. It's a great life skill to teach your kids. Um, it's great to sit down as a family and do it. So that's it, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me this evening. Um, catch the replay if you obviously, why do I, why don't I say that earlier? That's stupid. Um, definitely. Right. We did. I'm so proud of ourselves. <laughs> I can't wait to share it. All right. It'll be out. I promise. I promise. All right, guys, that's it. Have a great weekend. Have a great holiday. Um, Merry Christmas. Uh, happy Hanukkah to anybody who celebrated Hanukkah last week. Um, and uh, we love you guys. And don't forget, there's still 10 days left in this month. 
So get your goals. Your goal was 400. You can still make that happen. All right. See you later, guys.